11 and 0 <laughs> right now. So there's so many things that you need to focus on with TSM, whereas Coast is very clear. Jax yeah. and Nidalee. That's what they have had success on. And maybe Katarina. We'll see. So Jax getting banned out. The Thresh is not allowed to be played this game. No special or daydreaming having a good time on that. They've both played a little bit of Annie and Leona. So we'll see that coming in as the bans continue to fly through. All right. So yeah, LeBlanc definitely going to be off the table here for Solo Mid. But there's only one possible top lane ban left for Coast. They only have one ban left. And it's either going to be Siobhan or Mundo if they decide to even go up that top lane at all. Or if you're not going to yeah. uh, ban out both of them, then sometimes they'll just leave everything up and let Dyrus take one of those tanky champions and see what Zion will use so, instead. So the Elise gets hit up, which kind of shifts things over to Vi, Wukong, Pantheon. And Nintendo's been trying a lot of those as well. Yeah, so it looks like one targeted ban from TSM and mm -hmm. then two general bans. Yeah. Thresh, extremely strong overall champion, banned a lot against any team, and at least exactly the same thing. So uh, one real targeted ban and two general. Good focus on the mid lane as well. Lulu actually sees bans two times in a row. Got banned last game too. All right, so they do go three mid lane bans here from Team mm -hmm. Coast, but Bjergsen is a very deep champion pool. He can as well play Zed. Yeah. Yeah, as we just saw in the last game, Zed had a pretty good game. Boom, lock it in the Pantheon. That's a uh, one and zero for Odd One. He has a win on that already, as we saw last week. So he's going to go for it again. Now, this champion, while you can have a game get out of control, like last game, yeah. and just decimate people. Just a tad. He can also get very behind. If he gets counter ganked and he fails the first gank, um, then it will be hard for him to get back in it. With and his alive. early aggression, is there any kind of jungler that can combat that? Oh yeah, Lee Sin's got a pretty good chance of All it. Right. Uh, Kha'Zix as well, if he meets Pantheon solo, he can actually kill Pantheon solo if they're um, away from you know jungle camps or whatever mm -hmm. so that he's isolated. I fought that match up a couple times from both <laughs> sides. And Kha'Zix, especially if you're by a bush, he can um, Get the weave in and out very yeah. well early, early game. So. There are answers to Pantheon early. It's mm -hmm. just that his targeted stun at level two is such a huge tool for ganking any sort of lane yeah. that needs to get going early. If you have any sort of CC as a solo laner and your jungle is Pantheon, that's a very easy combo to set up because it's really just point and click stun. Well, TSM has that basket of fun for the entire game since they first picked it. And we see the Lucian and Leona mm -hmm. coming in from the side. Interesting coast. to pick up the, the, on the, the bottom tried. lane here. Now, yeah. it may seem like they're trying to get their bottom lane champions early because they're first picking them and focusing on bottom lane, but it's actually because they want to counter pick their solo lanes. They're not trying um, right. to focus their bottom lane. They yeah. want to give Shifter and Zion the lesser the of the evil best state. chance yeah. possible. They want to see if solo mid will lock in either of those positions early so then they can come up with a, a lane counter. Now, Annie could be locked in for a special. He's played it three times already with a positive record of two and one. And the Sivir has been something a lot of teams bringing in that stampede, allowing themselves an initiation even if things go bad at any point in the game. And I like the, the pickup here. Going with their Adian support means they don't give away their solo lanes yet. Mm -hmm. And they'll have to give up uh, the one counter pick left for yep. Ghost. But taking Sivir after Lucian's already locked in is a good move. It's not going to be Sivir having to go up against Caitlyn, which is brutal, or Sivir having to go up against Draven, which theoretically should also have the upper hand in that matchup. They know exactly what they're getting into, and they have a strong early game jungler. Yep. So I like that combo here from TSM. They put that combo together, and it's going to be a Gragas coming in for Bjergsen. He gets one of his top picks in that mid lane, and it actually is a 50-50 for him. He's won one and lost one on Gragas. Ooh. It is 50-50 uh, so far. Yeah. Going up <laughs> against um, Ari, though, is all about skill shots for this uh, for the early game here. Because Ari, after the changes, you really need to land that charm. Yeah. Or else your damage definitely falls off quite a bit. And uh, Bjergsen, if he does get the early lead in, in lane, shoving him in, then he will roam as well. So mm -hmm. really it's 
whoever can get the upper hand first from the mid lane can start roaming themselves. That's why a lot of junglers, when there are mid laners like this, will focus their ganks mid lane. If they get a successful gank mid, then it frees up their mid laner and they can go to the other lanes. Yeah, this deletes a little of the uh, problematic engages you get with Vi when somebody goes all hard mm -hmm. way deep into the fight. You can now Spirit Rush in, you have the Dragon's Descent. Great follow up there and see that coming out of Coast is they're a team that likes to get those fights going. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty classic combo. Ari plus Vi mm -hmm. in the mid and jungle means that you will have a guaranteed target right there. Vi ultimates means you can't miss your charm because they're not moving anywhere. And that's a full Ari combo that will come down. So they can catch somebody um, anywhere that they see him. So uh, dangerous combo there from both sides. All right, the game's about to get underway. Let's check in with everybody at home. And we went to lolesports.com, tallied in your vote, and this is what you came up with. 94% of you think the team solo mid are going to win. Pretty much all the solo mid votes are 90% uh, or more. This one is no exception. Not very surprising. Uh, Coast also, you know, towards the bottom of the standing, so they're working their way back up. Even yep. though they're on two-game winning streak, uh, very, very tough task here to take out the top team. And Coast has also been a team that we've seen at the bottom and brought themselves back up towards the top standings. Mm -hmm. They're a team that knows what being down here is like, and they can definitely get it through their heads that they need to start doing better and get themselves into that winning category. We'll see what they can do here. It's going to be a very tough one versus Team Solo Mid. 11-1 on the spring split versus 4-8 for Coast right now, and TSM has the first head-to-head -head matchup between these two teams. All right, so uh, everybody starting out with the classic Dorans. Mm -hmm. uh, no surprises here. And with X Special uh, not starting his stun, you know, a lot of Annie's now saving that spell until they get to lane. He hasn't leveled anything up yet, so he can level the Q and harass Leona down if he so chooses. Sivir usually liking to push early, so I don't think that I don't think that either of the duo lanes will be helping much with the junglers. Get that chomp out. Oh man, Dyrus is chasing deep here. Yeah, he's actually calling up Nintendo a little bit. But they go back to position. Zion says, I'm safe. We're good to go. Get that dance on. That might be the best dance in the game. I'm yeah. It's a dance and a taunt all in one. I'm just slowly watching Nintendo's movement. I don't think he's going to be called up for too much. Zion is just getting beat on here. Oh my god, he's just... Dyrus is definitely the alpha top laner. So that's been established. Now we have to see what's going to happen bottom lane. Because both junglers looking like they're starting on the top side. Which will leave both bottom lanes to scrap over the first minions and see who can shove harder. Like that late ward, just in case. So Keeping no everything invade. safe. I'm just enjoying what's happening between Daesh and Zion here. Oh, there will be a late invade. That's a really nice uh, late ward here. And they're doing this with full knowledge on the side of Coast, so it's yeah. their, their choice to kind Ooh. of decide how to react to this here. They don't want to tank that. Nobody wants to tank this because it's an even two versus two. Zion, they're still still going to go back and forth. No damage has really been dealt. It's actually going to go on to Nintendo, but he doesn't they're, want it either. The lizard Hot doesn't know what to lizard. do. Look at the lizard. He's running in circles. He's, Who do I attack? He's so enemies confused. on all sides. Right, please. He's Make it happen. Home. Looks like he's they safe. They got the small lizard, though. Nintendo's taking damage, so they're effectively winning this fight right now. Wait, get the ward almost. Oh, so close. Now so he's close. on the lizard, though. Nobody wants to tank it because <laughs> it's even two versus two. Ha <laughs> ha, says the lizard. Back to full health. Second reset. Here we go. For the elder lizard. Oh. All right. Nintendo's going to circle around. Oh, wait a minute. Him. Wait a minute. Dyer's going to. He's getting low. Oh, special. Wait a minute. We still got stuff going to the bottom side of the map. The ignite's Ooh. out of this one now. So if Wild Turtle and Special get oh, themselves he's healthy. Oh, mid later. Our odd one's going to have to flash oh, out. They're waiting for the level early. two. The level two charm. Is oh, it enough? No. There's the flash. The auto attacks are huge. It's not going to be. Yes, it is enough. Oh, so you did got, not stop As soon roll. as you make that call, you have to flash over the Baron wall very early. Odd one didn't, uh, he was saving his flash there. And by the time that shifter got there, there's no point in flashing towards the lane. Ah, uh, turns sour for Team Solo mid. Oh, the flash Q, and that's going to be enough. 
to get, especially Can he get away, down. There's going to no. be the kill. That's the trade. Assist on both sides, so they're trading pretty even on that. But it's going to be Wild Turtle who stays the farm. Now, that's huge. Because First Blood was already taken, mm -hmm. there's no extra bonus for this right. Coast team getting the first kill. And since the AD carry is up for TSM, that was actually better for TSM's bottom lane here. As you said, Wild Turtle gets a continue to farm minions, whereas Daydreaming will have a hard time under the turret. It's the best spot to farm minions as well against your enemy right under his turret. You can see all those minions have to be soaked two. up Can he go for three? He Aww. does. He does get the last one. Oh, yeah? You're going to call it? I'm calling it. <laughs> he only had one more auto attack. That was fine. Great harass by Ooh. Shifter, making sure that wave gets pushed a little bit as long as yeah. well, rather, as getting those cues onto Berickson. Yeah, I'm... Really curious to see if that will cost TSM the the mid laner roam first from Shifter, able to save his jungler. Whereas you know Bjergsen, maybe he made the call that Arya's was coming up, but yeah. Odwan didn't. It didn't seem like Odwan wanted to use his flash over the Baron wall, so seemed like a really good communication from Coast. Well, it was, yeah, it was a great job by Shifter. He was trying to crush down the mid lane so he could get level two in Charm. Mm -hmm. And that made that a, a big advantage for them going back into the jungle. A little bit of gold lead because that, obviously, another kill in their favor that was rebuttaled with one. That kill went over to Wild Turtle. We saw in the bottom lane the support in the AD trade. And Dyrus. And dude looking top yeah. now. He He's actually has his spot. double buffs. And Odd One's behind in the jungle because of so much time spent in the other side. Yeah, Dyrus. Oh, oh, he my. gets the flash! What? No way! Nintendo playing that one perfectly. What a prediction. Nintendo is on fire this game. Coast with a beautiful early start. This is exactly what they needed in this game. Even the Pantheon jungle is really far behind. The roam up from Bjergsen, though, if they combo with the odd one, they might be able to answer some kills. This is very, very greedy from Coast. Going so deep here. Odd One's coming over as well. He has double oh. buff. They're going to have the advantage. Coast could get caught trying to eat their cake. Here we go. It's going to be going towards the bottom. It's going on to Nintendo, and it oh, looks like that yes. double buff is going to be going over yeah. to B. Erickson. You can see the hand on the forehead. Did not want. They got a bit greedy there. The mid laner roam has been the difference both times here. This time, Bjergsen's reorder with double buffs. Meanwhile, down bottom, a little exchange of yeah. damage. All of the focus from Coast here has been special. They're looking to kill the support. Whereas TSM, every time they answer, it's damage on Wiz Fusion. So mm -hmm. damage that's going to be on the AD carry and make him have to play more defensively, but especially again blades. the target. One after the other. 300 HP onto a special. 200 now as he takes a bit more from Daydreaming on Leona. And that's not one of his top supports. Oh, the OD comes in, level 6 to 5. That blue buff. The flash. Definitely paying for itself in mid lane right now. Level 6 Bjergsen, Shifter just hitting that. So they got to be careful. Now he can answer. Uh, Vi is a, mm -hmm. a little bit behind because of that early death, though. Going to need a little bit of time to farm up in the jungle before they can do that combo. The Vi ulti into the Ari combo uh, will be a good answer once they can get Nintendo to level six. He's already been making moves in the top lane. Zion Spartan is the one they've been getting going, or he's been getting himself going, if it's not the case of his teammates within the past two games. Banned out on Jax this game, can still provide the same kind of damage from Shivana, so we'll keep an eye on him right now. Not too far down in CS, but Dyrus has been keeping that lane up in CS, even with the death. Hey, you might say he's playing consistently in oh, the top lane. Yeah. Dyrus holds his name, and Nintendo gets right into the bush. Wild Turtle oh. just takes one to the back. That was a good split by TSM. It was. Uh, and no no follow there from uh, Daydream. Yeah. Not really something they wanted. A little bit of miscommunication there. Attempt in the bottom lane. That was a flash down for Expecial as well. So if they went onto him, that could have been an easy kill. And Dyrus needs his ulti to be able to actually kill Shivana, even though she's proxying right now. Mm. So Dyrus really wants to get level 6 off this wave and then collapse with the odd one. So Zion actually is able to get out with his life because he had that level advantage. And Dyrus did not have his ultimate, so it would be hard for them to collapse. Even 2 versus 1. Rough, uh, rough game for them to try and collapse there. Odd one trying to time that buff. Because it went down so late, it's actually not at the, oh. <laughs> not even near the, oh, same spot here. Odd one's got to be careful because Nintendo's a level ahead of him. You see Zion Spartan in that top lane picking up the Giant's belt. I'm not trying to give him, give 
Dyrus, that is, any resistances to steal away if they were to go into a fight. You can see Burnout doing just enough of the damage that he wants to keep this lane somewhat in his favor. He's only down a few in CS, but with Dyrus back in here, he should be good. Bjergsen gets a charm on, but Shifter does not go all in. Yeah, he doesn't have any resistances to steal, mm -hmm. but it also does percentage damage. It's like when you're going against Trundle, like any sort of tank stat is going to be shredded. Yep. So it makes it tough for him. And Dyrus is actually getting a lead in that lane. Now you can see he also buys mana potions so that he can keep up his sustain. Helps him continue to chomp as well as throw down the Frozen Domain to increase healing if he ever does get yep. low. See how he continues to fare in the top lane. He's trying to keep his CS up and he's doing a good job about it. And the odd one has finally hit level 6. So the possibility Aww. of the Grand Skyfall. Now if you're looking at lanes for possible Grand Skyfall ganks, I wouldn't keep looking at top lane. Um, <laughs> All that crowd control. Exactly. Um, <laughs> and Zion there. does have multiple escapes. He can speed himself up, and he can also jump yeah. away with his Dragon's Descent, just jump out of the yeah. circle. So I'd probably be, be looking down bottom lane yeah. um, if I was the Ooh. odd one. Well, Coast is looking mid lane. Uh-oh. They found mid lane. Oh, walk in the park here. Bjergsen right in the Nintendo. That's a 3v1, and that is a dead Bjergsen. Well, they used the combo. Uh, a little bit of overkill there, but that also means that Leona's ult is down. So the odd one, even though their mid laner just mm. died, he could have a later gank down bottom. The dragon will probably not be contested, even though all of... Oh my god, he's going for it! Can oh, he get the steal? The odd oh, one. Can't. They pushed the whole team off! The oh, what a big play! No, no way! way. Oh, a huge okay. play coming in. It's Wild Turtle still up. Wins Fusion bought oh, an god. early pickaxe here, but it's to the BF sword of Wild Turtle. The kill goes over to Expression right. with the Ignite. In no way that just happened. Yeah, I gotta eat my words. The, the confidence in TSM right there to go for that combo is ridiculous. Expecial comes up huge with the flash tibbers. Oh my goodness. It translates from the, oh, Wild Turtle's damage. Oh my god. That was just beautiful AoE. And they pulled it off perfectly. It was another dragon fight. TSM classic uh, dragon fighting team. Uh, not only did they get the good Grand Skyfall, wow. move, but Expecial plus Turtle comboing that AoE. Boomerang Blade following up Tibbers very well. A little Wombo combo of its own. The one-two punch is enough to put TSM in the lead on this one. It was them down in kills, but they've evened those out, taken the gold lead, and we're only 11 minutes in. Whenever there's a dragon that happens in the game, it's like TSM's way to get, get a lead yeah. every time. But speaking of dragon, Nintendo goes right back to the scene of the crime, hmm. and he's going to pick it up by himself here. The award will come in from Expecial. There's no ulti from Odd One this time, but they can probably scare him off. There's a lot of damage from the dragon. That doesn't look like Odd One's going to let that one happen just oh, yet. Zion Zion's collapses roaming. and Dyrus is pretty far behind here. He needs to use his abilities to get here, so they may not be effective for the fight. The team's trying to hold off, so that doesn't Again, have to happen. Again, from Ghost, they're forcing this one. This the could be uh, Bjergsen having mm -hmm. his full combo up. They can steal it. Oh, the double solar player! Come on, Zion! Doing damage for the team! He gets in the front! That's gonna be one down, but can they follow? The dragon still stands. A lot is there to be gained after this fight, depending oh, on who goes down. No. Expecial gets hit up that time. The long range charm on the turtle! Throws on the barrier! Daydreaming is in a 2v1 right now on the back side, and it's a double kill for Shifter! TSM is forced to run! So this time, a split second of TSM not being in the same spot cost them dearly. The bottom lane from Coast came up huge. They rotated up first, and Daydreamin was able to land that Solar Flare. Meanwhile, Expecial came in a couple seconds after they had already lost Bjergsen. He was looking for the AoE stun onto mm. both Shifter and Wiz Fusion, but looking for that stun, he got right into the face of Vi, and Nintendo yep. just destroyed him before he could get off his spells. A lot more communication we see coming from Coast here. Usually those initiations so, are followed up yeah, as well. Yeah, let's watch. This is all five members of Coast up top. They rush the three-man squad of TSM, and the two-man bottom lane comes in late. Expecial, keep your eyes on him. He doesn't get to use his spells. Gets destroyed by Vi because he was looking to land it onto his fusion and shifter, but they were in the back line, positioning very well. And from that point, it's an easy team fight for Coast to win. We'll see what TSM can rebuttal with. We just saw that... That dragon fight was going to be there to do and the thing to get them in the lead. But Coast says, no way. We're evening it out again. 13 minutes in. It only took them one minute after TSM 
organize that bottom gank with Odd One's drop to come back into the game. So we see the turret going down in favor of TSM so far. They have the map control in mid to late game. TSM holds the number one, the lead for most gold accrued. So if they can start getting a lead, they usually don't let go of it. Yeah, that was great back-to-back -back team fights. This mm -hmm. game is so close right now. Uh, one win for each team in that dragon area. It, it goes to show that every second counts when, yeah. when you're moving uh, towards the team fight. And That's credit to Ghost, too. It's not easy, especially against Team Solomid, knowing a team that proficient at fighting and controlling the map, to make that call after losing such a big fight. That's big. Yeah, they were definitely split up. Uh, now it's time uh, for both teams to mm -hmm. regroup, because, as we said, it's so even, and we're going towards that mid-game. Already Nintendo looking to capitalize bottom. He has his ulti, and he knows that there's no flash from a special still. Well, he probably doesn't know it, actually, because it's very hard to time that right. spell yeah, close. that close. They're safe for now. They know that it's, it's a little too quiet on the home front to be going a little or any farther ahead in this lane. Now, Pantheon's pretty good at counter ganking. Mm -hmm. If Wild Turtle and Special can kite back initially, then they can buy time for the Skyfall to come in if Odd One is on the bottom side of the map. But Daydreaming oh. and Nintendo won't give him that oh. time! of war! Such an He's old tactic being used, but still such a good tactic. Shifter comes up huge once again in the mid lane. Attacking from the brush. Bjergsen had the top side warded, but was yeah. actually hugging the bottom side. Always want to hug the side of the lane where your ward is. And Shifter is able to get the jump on him. He knew. He got a sweeper a little bit ago. Wow, they, they called down Zion for the turret damage after. So not as it only is it just a kill, but they yeah. want to immediately turn that into map pressure. That opens up the entire jungle here. Mid turret down at 15 minutes is huge for Coast. Really great play from Coast. Looking at the inventories, we do see the Deathfire Grasp having a big hand in that killing of Bjergsen just now. So that's even going to make Shifter stronger at 4, 1, and 3. He's down at CS, but that's only become... He's, he's been getting his roam on a little bit. Mm -hmm. Back to Zion in the top lane. He's gone for the Cutlass after that Giant Spout. Again, keeping his resistances from oh. Dyrus' Subjugate. Could it be enough? The Ignite's already down. It's going to be based on whatever he can do off the damage of his abilities. Red buff is ticking. Burnout is on. Dyrus is so close to dead, and he finally goes down on the coast-to-coast -coast run. Zion taking advantage of the summoner spell discrepancy right there. Yep. Dyrus still without his flash, and Zion being able to rely on the multiple slows. Very good job capitalizing. All the lanes now yep. turning for coast. I mean, what, what did Reginald say about that top lane? If Dyrus plays consistent on something Zion Spartan's got a head on, mm -hmm. Dyrus is going to fall behind. And this has really been the story of Coast, really mm -hmm. uh, the history of Coast. They're always looking for big plays from the mid laners. We see a big play from Shifter mid, soloing Bjergsen. Then we see a big play from Zion, soloing Dyrus. Both mid laners able to handle their business in their own lanes. And both of those just resulted in turrets falling. Mid lane, top lane now down. A minute 30 for Dragon back up. So that means once Zion pushes, he can be down there for Dragon. Coast is really setting things up for themselves here. Only 17 minutes into the game. It's a different coast than we've usually seen. Definitely, they're doing a good job. Uh, they do have the Dragon Timer as well. So they want to retain control of the bottom side jungle. I like that they're already setting up the perimeter of wards. Oh, odd one looking for the answer. Can he grab Nintendo? A little foot far away. He goes for Shifter instead. That was tough. Both yeah. of them had their own kind of way to get out of that cheekily. The I spirit rush of the Vault Breaker. I definitely like going for Nintendo much more there, though, because, yeah. you know, it, yes, you can get spirit rush on cooldown, but he's got a, uh, a blue buff, so it won't be that long. Mm -hmm. Whereas Nintendo, Good you might call. be able to capitalize that one and get at least a summoner, if not a kill. Let's see what they... Oh, oh my god! Whoa! The jump here! And he's going for the long haul on this one! Nobody's there to follow up, though! Nintendo flashes out, and Turtle's gonna have to tunnel on him for a second. Does Coast have the follow-up to get this fight? Special very low, and he does go down to the burn. The supports go on a kill spree. Ooh, Bjergsen caught out once again. Shifter is really, really making good use of this Ari. Haven't seen her in quite a while, but that was why she was so popular last season. The ability to mm. pick people off from Fog of War, and even from the turret there. <laughs> Bjergsen did not expect the charm. 
uh, point blank. He was a little bit too far up there. Going to have to watch his positioning because Bjergsen uh, stepping out of line a little bit in this game. Char or charge. Charm has quite a distance on it. It will catch you off guard. We saw Bjergsen underestimating the length of it right there. It's going to go ahead and lead, lead into one more thing. This time it's not a turret. It becomes the dragon, which is going to be increasing in gold now. So Coast is doing everything they need to to yeah. keep this game in their favor. And right now they're facing off against TSM, who has had an 11 game streak. Nobody's yeah. been able to cut that. This is looking pretty good. And, you know, in that pregame interview, Expecial said they prepared, but not specifically for Coast. Yeah. Uh, they might consider doing this in the future because Coast are, have a bit of a, uh, more of a unique play style than a lot of the other teams. And it seems like they're definitely not ready for the Ari pick. Uh, it's, it's caught them off guard a couple times here. See what he can do. We usually, like you said, Bjergsen getting caught off by the Ari pick. He's the one to get the skill shots out. 1v1 his lane, but with Shifter being able to play so aggressive and in the same coin on the other side, play so safe, it really doesn't allow Bjergsen to do it his way. Well, speaking of coins, we have two uh, upgraded Talisman of Ascension. However, one of these supports has mobility boots. Mm -hmm. Daydream is just looking to get those long range engages. And he's got Nintendo to back him up. Vi will be able to follow. Ari is a great champion for following up on long range engages. Yep. Even if you are out in front of your team, Shifter should be able to get to your target and capitalize. And he's constantly looking for picks here. That's pretty much what yep. this Coast team is all about. It's what they've always been about, really, is picks from their solo laners after they get ahead. And they are looking for picks, but things that are, are an opportunity for him here are kind of the blue buff that they just let go over to Bjergsen, which could get him back in the game. Things like that, when they're looking for picks when they could be going for bots. Well, they want kills in the bottom side here. Yeah. And it looks like they do have Wild Turtle surrounded. That, uh, that looks like yeah, a Yeah, a little of bit of a wave clear there. <laughs> wave and HP Sivir clear. Sivir tells you what to do. She says you better duck. If you don't duck, then this you is take true. a lot of damage. This is true, and it's... It's complete damage being built by Wild Turtle. He says, yeah, I have a Bloodthirster, but I need another BS Sword and another BS Sword. No, I'm just kidding. You got a pickaxe after that, but Ooh. it is pure damage and clear coming out of the 4-0-1 Wild Turtle. He's got four of the six kills on their team, so they are in a position to keep this one going. Well, look at this massive ward coverage in the red side jungle. They're still going right. to be looking for things on that side because, as you just said, the blue buff was already taken, mm -hmm. so there's not a lot on the top side jungle. And they'd really like to continue to use that control of the bottom side to keep down this Sivir. If they can keep down the AD carry, that yep. will be huge for them. Because this is uh, definitely what TSM are putting a lot of their hopes on. Yep. All this damage that Wild Turtle is building. Looks like he's going for Infinity Edge even. Right. After his uh, Bloodthirster. Really so focusing damage. Pure damage, yeah. You see Dyrus again in the top lane. You know, I mentioned this, we usually see Dyrus taking teleport, which uh -oh. always gives Team Solo mid a little bit Slow more control in the early game. I didn't think he was going to come out on top of this one. Oh, oh the, even with the Sunfire cape? That was pretty impressive. This is a very, yeah, it was a very close duel. They both come out with around 200 HP. Zion almost gives up his red buff, yeah. but he's able to walk away. Finally, Dyrus here, you know, showing that he can give as good as he's getting. And Zion's going to have to think twice before he tries to duel him again. I don't However, think it was going to be that much of a back and forth. Zion, <laughs> it's because Zion is sitting on 1,500 gold right now, 1,600 oh. gold, whereas Dyrus had used all of his gold. So Dyrus had spent his money. He had maxed out his combat yeah. effectiveness, whereas Zion was sitting on a large pot of cash. And once he goes back, he'll finish his Blade of the Ruin King, mm. which is a big step, step up from the Cutlass. Tyrus Blade finish for him. He's been fighting with. Was just mentioning him before the fight that without teleport, TSM has lost control of where they usually get the dragon. The first one is theirs when Tyrus comes down. Then with that gold, he beats the top lane, and it hasn't been able to work out that way. This isn't something TSM is used to. They've definitely had to switch gears here. They're looking for stalling it out until the late game because they lost yeah. early game. They definitely uh, did lose the early game, so they want to try and not bleed any more objectives. Right. Try and hold on as they can and farm up to close the gold gap before they make a strong 
move. So what are their options coming in here? Going against the Gragas? They have a Sivir, so they're looking for yeah. uh, catching someone out on their own. Or... Uh, there goes the On the Hunt. They do catch someone. Oh, again on the Shifter, but there it is, the Spirit Rush coming out. That's the only one they had really to go in on, so trying they their best. They two yeah. All they get is the right. Flash and the Spirit Rush, and Wizfusion gets his turret for himself. This is a very desperate situation for DSM, so they might want to make use of this positional advantage. Oh, They're dear. making a risky play going for the Baron. They know that there's no Spirit Rush, though. They have the Infinity Edge and Bloodthirster Talisman. Wild Turtle. This is the team of damage right now Can't for Team them. Solo Mid. Oh, they are really putting themselves into a corner here. Solo Mid. Wiz is on the inhibitor turret in the dangerous. bottom lane right now. Yeah, they have to commit to it now because they're losing an inhibitor turret for it. They just... Inhibitor turret down, Solar Flare goes in. Odd was the focus, but they pillar Daydream it out of the Zenith. Wild turret on the backside. He actually gets the space he needs. Very good peel from Team Solo Mid. Coast packs out, and Baron stays up with the inhibitor one, going down. One kill for an inhibitor turret is not worth here. He's also going to get the inhibitor wow. on top of it. Coast though, two Whoa. kills. Like, you kind of want to stop them from backing, which is good, but they already got the inhibitor. Oh, so don't they start gotta... that thing up again. They are too low for this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Expatial just took a huge hit to the face. They need to get out of here. Wiz is going to stay. Not going to get too much more out of it, but the minions are going to cause a bit of now, a problem. I think Nintendo was trying to uh -oh. delay the... I think it was trying to delay the backs. It looks like they do catch Expatial. The straggler, Coast able to pick off the weak member of the herd mm -hmm. because Expatial was the last one to try and recall. All right, so... Well, look at this, the Baron fight initially. Uh, you know, TSM was taking a lot of damage, and they had the debuff on them from Baron. Coast were just looking to make them stop Baron so that they could get away with that inhibitor turret. And Nintendo, he's looking to stop them from backing, but they didn't need to because yeah. they had already gotten the inhibitor turret and the inhibitor. So in that situation, you're not really buying any more objectives for Wiz Fusion because he's not going to be able to get much on that Nexus turret with just a single wave. And it was a bit of an overextension, but they're still in the lead. You can see Coast synergizing, Ooh, speed Dyrus up, and slow. Go ahead. Bottom. They are going to start it up. They've got a pink one. Mm -hmm. Going for Baron. Dyrus is going to have to walk himself up. Like we said, this is Whoa. not a game where he's running teleport. Calling coming out. He's going to go ahead and tear Baron apart. Oh! Can he go for the steal? Deja vu from so the Dragon Pit! No. Oh, he doesn't get it! Zion Spartan able to get the last hit in there with the smites as well. And it looks like they're going to be going hard on this. X Special just got up out of the pit. Wiz Fusion's going to make a dash and an attempt for the kill here. He may get stunned up, though. May keep himself alive. The 1W can he uh -oh, get some passive movement breath. speed. Breathe some fire. Come on, Zion Spartan. Your teacher's proud of you once more. 15 to 8, 26 minutes on the clock, and Coast is wreaking havoc right now. That was a valiant effort by the odd one. He smite a little bit early, and Nintendo didn't even get his smite off. So Zion saving the day. Uh, able to come up with extra damage after the odd one had already blown the smite. They got a siege wave here, but there's the clear coming in from Wild Turtle. It's not going to matter too much. Enough damage for the turret to go down. The sixth one of the game being dropped out here in favor of Coast. Looks like they may be going on another inhibitor turret. They have the pressure. Wave is there. Mm, so Dragon is up. Coast mm -hmm. can get a secondary turret mid if they want. I don't know if they'll go through with this siege because... They did use a lot already. The, the culling's going to take a few more seconds to come back up. That's still a very scary team so to siege against. So they might stay for one more wave. Um, you have to watch here from TSM's perspective. They are looking for a good Bjergsen ult. They really need to split this Coast team up so that they can focus oh. down a single target mm -hmm. um, if they want to make a comeback here at right. this in inhibitor turret. We're going to some of the items being built out here. Everybody's rushing damage in this game. We got the Lich Bane after the Abyssal Scepter, the Blade of the Rune King after the Infinity Edge for Witch Fusion. Like we said, the Infinity Edge and the Bloodthirster for Wild Turtle. Everybody's saying, power, we need more damage. These fights are happening consistently here. Wild Turtle's getting low on mana, actually, which uh, can cost Sivir in team fights. He'll have enough for On mm -hmm. the Hunt to get up there, but he's going to need. Right more to back up the team fight here because they're relying on him for most of the damage. This is also only a home guarded Gragas right now. Bjergsen the only one to be able to afford that at this time. Oh, there's the Solar they go for hits on Bjergsen steps a little too far on the line. Still under his turret is enough for Coast to go on the engage. Daydream it goes down, but it's only the support loss. Is this where Dyrus Odd one and the rest of them come in big? They turn on the turtle. The barrier's not enough. Science 
Spartan chomping down hard. It's gonna be the odd one in the front of the fight. Then they focus down Dyrus. The ace of Team Solo mid. Expecto's oh. gonna be the last one. This could possibly be the streak cutter for Coast to come in on the win. Coast looking to end their... Oh my goodness, they are looking to end the game. They're going straight for the Nexus turrets across to the inhibitor. Still got to take this down. Got to go all the way through. They may not have the minions to take it down. Bjergsen's going to be big with the home guards when he comes up. He was not able right. to use anything in that fight. Yeah. So Coast has to be careful here. He's up now, uh, but Ari does have a Lich Bane, so they can take down turrets pretty quickly. Bjergsen, yeah, once again, he does get caught Ooh. out right by the Solar Flare. It's, it's a hard one to, to dodge, though. You only have a split second yep. to try and flash away from it. So boom, there it is. We started out. He's already off the table. That's boom huge indeed. for Coast. And then this is the re-engage. This is interesting because Coast are running, so TSM feel like they have the upper hand, but Wild Turtle walks right by Zion, right up into melee range. And yep. so he just turns right around, able to knock him down because of his fusion is able to turn his DPS on the AD carry. And even though they aren't able to land another charm, it is the death of a special. That was a great catch by Daydream, and Bjergsen almost has to put himself in those positions. I mean, you're Gragas, you want to make plays. Bjergsen makes plays, but Daydream absolutely saw that opportunity the second it happened. They were able to get yeah. a huge fight for themselves. 10,000, 11,000 gold in the lead now at 30 minutes in. Yeah, and like I said, that's the perfect mid laner to combo on any sort of pick. Right. As soon as they're able to l land that Solar Flare, Shifter jumps right in and annihilates the target. Ari is great at capitalizing on Pikmin. You get someone stuck, you're going to charm them up, and they're not going to have a very good day. 20-9 to 9 is the score right now as Team Solo Mid really trying to catch their breath in this game. They've been suffocated by Coast the whole time. This top lane has seen pressure from Zion Spartan. Everywhere else has really been Shifter roaming helping out. We saw good play from Nintendude in the beginning, and all of this has really led to Coast showing us something they have not yet in the spring split. All right. As we said, too, you know, the, the Lich Bane Ari, <laughs> as, uh, yeah. it adds more bursts, and it also adds the ability to take down turrets, which uh, this team... They've been pretty proficient at this ...would game. need a little bit. You know, they've got that plus the Lucian, so... Yeah. Pretty easy for them to go in for this inhibitor. Like they are going to lose a Nexus turret, whether they like There's it or not. The Zenith Blade goes in, like you said, Sivir. Wild Turtle trying to help the team with that speed utility coming on the backside. Bjergsen able to stay alive for the first initial hit up. And it looks like Coast is kind of scattered on this one. They're all swords as they re enter Ooh. and now back out of the fight. That's going to be a knight on a Zion. They're going to tend to try to punch him to life there, but it didn't work. Need to resuscitate him. <laughs> Didn't take his CPR class. That was a painful base rush. You can see the turret in shambles now for the Nexus, and it's only going to be so long before Team Solomid's next Nexus turret goes down. Baron's in 1 minute and 30. That may be all the timer has written. Man, you got to you gotta give props to the solo laners here from Coast. This is why every single game we're like, okay, Coast, they're probably going to be able to come back maybe this game because mm -hmm. their solo laners come up with huge plays. This time around, both Shifter and Zion have done a great job. Yeah. You also have to say, Nintendo, he's played very well. Those himself. vault breakers in the top lane, catching Dyrus' flash. Oh, the first one, predicting the flash was beautiful. Yeah. See more plays like that, and Nintendo getting on these champions that, you know, Reggie was saying, play the champions that everybody's playing now, or that's getting banned out. Once you learn that, then you can innovate instead of trying to learn everything else. And it looks like these guys have been able to do a little innovating of their own here. Mm -hmm. This RE composition, usually champions we've seen make up the rest of this. So really, Shifter pulling out the cards again and showing that he can be one to really lead this team. And they are getting inside of Bjergsen's head. Yeah. Because yeah. Both Nintendude and Daydreamin are constantly targeting him with their ults. Uh, it really does affect your mentality inside the game if you're constantly the one focused out first. You feel, start to feel a little bit helpless, mm -hmm. and you start to play a little bit more safe. And since CSM rely on Bjergsen so much for playmaking yeah. and shot calling, it affects the entire team. We'll see what they have for each other. Coast looking to be able to pressure a Baron here. As TSM wants to dance it as well. The Baron Boogie to start, but Nintendude says, Oh, Spell Shield Let's down. just aggress the wild, or on the hunt off from Wild Turtle. They can wait out the duration now. That is a huge cooldown for TSM. 
and should give Coast the confidence. Oh, that base. <laughs> There's so many minions crashing down on the Nexus turrets right now. Backing in, Bjergsen's going to do what he can to push the mid lane, but it looks like Coast is going to have what they want as they get into the base. CSM desperately trying to keep that one alive. He's able to save it for now, but it gives mm. Coast again control of the Baron area. It's really a, just a back and forth. TSM have to constantly be running up to Baron, back to defend base. They don't have a, a teleport on Dyrus. So really, they could make the call for Odd One to farm that lane and use this Grand Skyfall to join them instead. See what I'd they can do. I'd like to see Odd One in that top lane uh, to try and keep it from pushing back into the base because he can, he can close that distance. Whereas they'd much rather yeah. have Dyrus with the rest of the team right. able to slow down Coast with those pillars and keep them occupied. Looking as they approach this Baron, somehow Bjergsen is the highest level in the game. That's Man. just what he's done for himself, they even though they're behind. So well played on that Gragas. We'll see if he can keep doing it. The Baron's going down. That's going to make it a little bit harder. Odd one's 14. Pretty far down for TSM besides Bjergsen here, and he's trying to carry the team up. Here comes the Baron up coast. 35 minutes into the game at 20 to 10 over an 11-1 Team Solomit. Who would have thought? Supposed to be caught again, but TSM, they do not want to fight in the open after they had already blown mm -hmm. the Sivir ultimate. So they make the call to just give up Baron and fight uh, another day inside of their base. Maybe they can get the jump here. Yep. They're looking for the, the Gragas ulti, as we said, from Bjergsen. If he can split Wiz Fusion towards the team and they take out that AD carry first, and they might have a hope of coming back here. Keep your eyes on Nintendo Dex and Shifter. They're going to be moving ulti. like lightning in this. A very good pillar. The man drop goes down. Who do they have on this one? Nintendo's taking the brunt of the front end damage here. Dyrus is taking quite a bit. There's the barrel, and Wiz Fusion is in a safe spot. And they're not going to be able to peel much with that Tibber. So Whoa. TSM is able to stave off the initial aggression for the deaths. But the inhibitor goes down. Dyrus flashing out with yeah. sub 100 HP. It's a good job as a tank if you're able to tank to the maximum of your health and then barely get out alive. He did all that he could possibly do mm -hmm. there uh, and got out with his life. But they do lose the inhibitor. So it's going to be more super minions coming down. And Coast will again be looking to invade the base. So they go with the jump onto the pillar here. Expecial was again looking for the AoE stun to the back line. But Wiz Fusion and Shifter are so mobile on the Ari and the Lucian, yeah. they were able to escape the Pantheon jump, and Expecial's not able to close that gap. So he's forced to use his stun and AoE on the front line of Coast, which is just too beefy right now. Front line versus front line, Coast are more tanky, and it takes TSM much longer to take them down than it does for Coast to burn Dyrus. Bjergsen holding these alts in the fight so long just to make sure he can somewhat get Shifter, maybe get a group of three, but everybody's doing such a good job at splitting. Coast really has control the entire time. Thinking of where that level from Bjergsen's coming in, 339 to 237 in the mid lane. He is keeping in mind yeah. that since he didn't get kills, he needs to be a farm master coming into this game. And now being or having trouble getting outside the base to even do that. Things are getting a little tighter. And you have to keep your eye on that minion score because that's good money right there for TSM. Yep. Coast have to be careful about um, misplaying in the end game here. TSM are a very resilient team. They're still going to fight until their Nexus goes down. Uh, they still have a chance here, even though it's barreled up Coast. Ooh. They go for it again. Here it is. Going to be dropping down. That's going to pop the Banshee's Veils that they want. Coming in from the right Flashes side, it's special, tries to get some stuns in, still has that Tibbers to be used in the fight. Daydream is the one to go in, they flash out. TSM's doing a very yep. nice job at stopping the siege, and it looks like they are Ari gonna get Coast too. to back off. They do a very good job, now it's the re-engage! Oh, the Nexus turret goes down, they get a kill for it. I don't know which one weighs heavier, I'm gonna go with Nexus turret. They're gonna lose, oh, they don't even get the inhibitor here, TSM barely defending this as well. The flashes, oh, it's gonna be the auto attack that almost kills Shifter, Dragon's Descent goes out. TSM is slowly trying to kick back here against Coast Zion Spartan. Maybe the first casualty to go down. The oh. Baron's on him, helping him to regen from the side of Shifter and Daydreamer, but it's not enough. They do get Spartan. TSM's going to disengage for now. As I said, the late game, TSM, a very resilient team. Their team fight, they do not crack under pressure. In that one, Coast 
They actually tank at different times, sending right, one person right. in the front line. And TSM just focused the single person on the front line. They get a lot more damage out than they have to take in return. So they slowly win the team fight after Spirit Rush is down. They decide to re-engage, and Bjergsen lands a dead-eye Gragasol feed to take down Nintendo. Kobe, after seeing that, if I was TSM, I'd be saying, guys, with a fight like that, we can win this. We so held this, them off. Yeah, this is the re-engage right. here. Uh, Bjergsen, he's able to land one barrel, so as soon oh, as that one lands, vu. there it is, right on top of his head. He's also actually able to get some residual damage on the yep. rest of the team there, too. TSM's getting a spot where they feel, I wouldn't say comfortable, but a little bit better about their situation. Oh, no, yeah. They're still definitely they are on the back far down behind. They've only gotten two kills since we said that 20 to 10 score. That was around 30 minutes in the game. So things have definitely slowed down, and TSM's been doing that with a bit of warding and a bit of just Bjergsen farming up right now until they can get to that spot where they can get back into the base of Coast, or into the base of Coast. They haven't been there yet, I should say. Yep. Coast, they need to land one of the two engages. Nintendo going in with Vault Breaker or mm -hmm. Daydreaming with his Solar Flare. And everyone has to follow it. That's the key. Once they grab somebody, yep. everyone has to commit. And that's the way that they've been winning the fights because that's how you have to play when you're picking somebody off. But TSM are looking to run up the mid lane here. They're going to give up an inhibitor if they keep pushing this. Yeah, they will be backing. The inhibitor's going to go down on this side. It looks like I'd give it up anyway. I'd be able to put a bit of pressure on. I'm not really going for the inhibitor, just the wave so right. far. One, two, three. Oh, no, they're all coming in. Three home guards up for TSM. One mobility boost. There goes the Pantheon ult. That's the pillar. It's going to be Zion Spartan this time. They hold it. A great Q from uh -oh. Nintendo on to Dyrus. He tries to get too close to the fight. Zion takes him down quickly. It's going to be Daydreaming going down. Then it's Nintendo following the after. Oh, the boomerang just misses as Zion Spartan puts his head down. Expesso gets the stun in. Wiz Fusion's not going to make it home alive today, kids. And Zion Spartan's going to be leaving Shifter to the end of the fight. They're still chasing, too. This is dangerous. You gotta watch out for the charm. Wild Turtle holding his finger over that spell shield button. Okay, Expecial, he finally found the back line there. He got Wiz Fusion, able to kill the AD carry and turning it into a three for two instead of just an even fight. So even though the odd one doesn't even pop the Banshees that time with the ulti, they stay in the fight. Expecial, three man stun there, able to set it up. And then, since Shifter's on the retreat here, they didn't have much damage. Let's watch the special for the flash right onto Wiz Fusion. Not able to get um, Shifter. I think he used a single target stun there. But the burst Boom. followed up from Pantheon as well as Turtle. Able to grab another kill, and TSM lived to fight another day. This is crazy, Kobe. TSM is definitely mounting a comeback in this game. That is the second attempt by Coast as a full team to get mm. themselves into the base, and the odd one is taking things into his own hands and just man-dropping these initiations. Almost a victory so far. They're getting themselves a little bit back into the game. And the power of late-game Sivir speeding everybody up, giving Dyrus extra attack speed. Yep. Trundle already has ridiculous attack speed that with his blade of the ruin king dyrus as a tank is even putting out tremendous damage at this point so all of tsm are making pretty big plays right now and uh, odd one getting more tanky is big for them because mm -hmm. he's using his grand skyfall to pop all the banshees veils on the back line and try and get those off so that x special can land his stuns that he's looking for team solo mid with their eyes on the prize right now and a little, bit, a little bit of that may contain the Baron that is up and that just spawned in this game. Both teams know that that has occurred. You can see the wards going down middle of the lanes, side of the lanes, any bush they can get a ward into to make sure they have full vision because it's all or nothing right now, Kobe. Both teams have to go for broke here. All right, TSM, they're making the call to go for Dragon. Uh, I have to make an addendum to that Sivir ultimate. It doesn't give attack speed to the teammates. It's only move speed. It's going to be four versus five. Shifter's a long way off here. Everybody on the edge of their seats. We're going in for the Baron. He gets it with the barrel, and it's going to be going over to Team Solo Mid. What can they do? Oh Wreaking my. havoc on the health bars of Coast. Nintendo's low. Daydream is right in the middle of the fight. Wins Fusion, where are you in the fight? He cannot be found. He's in the top side there. Turn they go down. right for him, trying to peel. He can't get any more damage on Dyrus. A beautiful frozen wasteland for himself. Trying to stay alive, but wait. 
Ghost has found ground in the fight. They get a double kill for Shifter. The base looks to be open. They're pretty low, though. And Bjergsen does have home guards. The odd one as well as home guards. It's two versus four, but two members are very low. So we'll have to see how TSM try and defend these inhibitors. Oh. Now he's even lower. There's a good 600 <laughs> damage coming off real quick. We'll see what the odd one and Bjergsen can do. Bjergsen does have the home guards on. He's not even trying to get back to the base right now. They know they need to guard this Nexus. Coast is going to be going for this. You have to be worried about the Shifter charm picking off either member of TSM here. That was Shifter's auto attack. That Lich Bane is crushing the Nexus, down the Nexus. Though, is under attack. It's going to be 43 minutes into the game. Zion Spartan tries to get himself to the other side. Can they destroy TSM's win streak? They're not going for the Nexus. They're going for kills. Coast Daydream is oh, 10 HP. One. The odd one's trying to do what he can. Lich Shifter Bane with the Lich Bane on. Oh Watch my God. Spear Rush still going for the kills. The second he's not going to get it. Oh! No, my God, he does get it. Coast breaks the win streak of Team Solomon to go 5-8. and eight. Yep. Everybody with their hands on their heads. Last time I saw this kind of thing happen was MLG, Kobe. TSM fans didn't know what to do or Back say. Finish. Shot. But Team Coast are just elated right now. They have got to be happy with that game. They came out huge in the early game. Stumbled a little bit towards mid, but man, was that an explosive finish. Shifts are able to work his way around the Nexus, even with a special respawning. <laughs> they don't even know what to say. Don't even know what to do. We saw the faces of Team Solo mid absolutely crushed. And you can see everything spent from Nintendo as he yeah, that, just cannot even pick himself up off the floor. Me. That was almost me on the ground. <laughs> His game from start to finish. The Vault Breakers coming in the top lane, predicting Dyrus's flash. The Assault and Batteries coming in to follow that up were perfectly executed with the Spirit Rush of Shifter. Coast just absolutely amazed everybody in the LCS. That got into a very That was nothing game. short of amazing. TSM holding their ground. In the mid game, so far down, they're able to hold the base. Three of four times, Ooh. Team Solo mid pushed Coast back with multiple kills. They got the Baron while Shifter was bottom too. They almost had to come back there, and Coast are able to win the team fight. Whew. That's, that's not that's that not how a, a usual one. game goes. That's right. going to be a rewatch tonight. Going back yeah. into that, I'm going to go ahead and just rewatch that. Yeah, Mentally, I'm rewatching it right now because it was that amazing. Something that we did not expect, right? We, we have Zion Spartan, who didn't fare well recently on the Shivana. Actually, his first game of Shivana mm -hmm. coming in this game. And then you have Shifter, again, bringing out a new champion for himself. Has 